Maybe this is it. Hi. Is there is there a mic audio now, John? Thanks for joining me, Book of Nerds. And how's it sound? Okay, so there is mic audio. Great. I'm on OBS. I'm trying to figure this stuff out. Um, so I decided to do this impromptu um, Twitch stream. Thank you for joining me, uh, friends, whoever is out there. Yes, cool. Thanks, John. You've inspired me, my friend. Um, yeah, OBS is fun. Thank you, Andrew. And I am not... I, I don't know what the heck I'm doing with this stuff. I'm still learning it. It's been taking me months. And um, I decided since we had a, a last-minute cancellation with our Wardlings campaign today, um, I decided, hey, why not just jump on AMA, ask me anything, or we'll play a game, or I'll play a game or whatever, and we'll see. So it's just hanging out um, for like an hour or so. But thank you for uh, stopping by. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, let me make sure I got all this stuff set up here. Yeah, so I've got that. Uh, so what's new with y'all? Anything happening? Um, earlier, I did um, what I do. I did a top three at three with Pat Marino from the Op. That was a lot of fun. We talked about our top three games we never get rid of. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was interesting to see his um, perspective on games. Um, he was talking about, you know, he, he seemed like he was more, uh, he was including a lot of games that were like a little more rare or tougher to find or harder to replace. But then he would like, you know, because I was more like the nostalgia guy, right? Of games that like meant something to me, even though you could pick them up at any store um, out there, basically. I still, you know, have a sentimental feeling for certain games. But then he actually had one that was nostalgic. So and, uh, his was Hero Quest. So that, that was really cool. Um,. Andrew, yeah, the Crokinole rematch was won by... Actually, it, was, it wasn't a rematch yet. So Michelle won the first one. And then Lauren and I played. And I uh, won against Lauren. So now me and Michelle are going to play for the uh, championship trophy. Hopefully next week. If not next week, the week after. Uh, Book of Nerds? Uh, yes. Uh, and there's Mrs. G. Hey, Michelle, I'm doing this on OBS. I'm, I'm learning. So this is not StreamYard. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, I, I didn't have a mic on at first, and then I added it, and hey, it worked. Um, hopefully it's not, I don't know if it's coming in hot or not, I mean, I'm still learning these. Y'all can't see it, I'm pointing at something, but the, like, little audio mixer thing, trying to figure it out. Um, but, uh, did they get you a Lazy Susan? No, um, Andrew, they didn't. Uh, so, the Lazy Susan was compliments of my friend Richard over at, um, Board Game Paradise. Uh, he custom make, makes these things and, you know, he just built it and it actually, it doesn't fit on the table that we have here in the studio. So we just keep it out in the living room, like the main room and use it there um, to play games. I have a feeling that thing, I mean, even though it's heavy, I, I can eventually see that being something that we bring to game nights, you know, when we have game nights again, because that thing is awesome. It was like, it's, I mean, it's nice here at the house, but I feel like that would be like something cool to share with like a, a bigger group. Um... Uh, yeah, Mrs. G is working. Yeah, she she beat me uh, the other day, in, or during that stream, and she, I, she said it was, she claimed it was her first win. I, I thought she'd won a couple of games before, but apparently not. Um, yeah, so we just use the crokinole board as is on on the table, and we don't use the lazy Susan for it. Maybe we should, but actually, no, I take that back. We uh, Lorna and I tested it out. Uh, in the living room, we put the crokinole board there, and the lazy Susan it actually moved a little too much, like it was it just moved too much. So like with crokinole, you really want like you know things to sit still so you can take a shot in there. So yeah, thanks for asking. Um, I love cro. I mean, if you haven't played crokinole before, folks, whoever's in chat, um, please do. It, it's the greatest dexterity game ever. Um, I was I'm still sort of blown away that it took me all these years to actually play it. And it's so good. We've taught it numerous times. Um, thanks to our friends Edward and Sasha from Game School Con. They brought it out to our um, game night that we used to host here in Rancho. And um, he, uh, Edward taught it to me, and I was just like floored. I was like, why is this game so good? And why haven't I played it before? So right after that, you know, and his board is just, uh, I don't even, I don't even want to guess how much his board is. Because that thing is super nice. It's hundreds of dollars. Um... We backed the one from Mayday a few months or earlier this summer. It was only $99, and that's like dirt cheap for a crokinole board. Like, you cannot find boards at that price. That I mean, you could, but they're like really bad. Uh, the one from Mayday, excellent, solid quality for $99. Um, and, you know, I, I would have, if, if they do have them for, 
I don't know if they, I think all the pre-orders are gone. Like they're the, like they'll probably, I don't know if they'll have any in December because that's when the pre-orders are supposed to ship. So I don't know if they're going to have any more after that way. But if they do, if you're looking for Crokinole, $99 is a great way um, to get into the game. Um, I mean, a great price. The one we actually, thanks to our sponsorship with Crokinole Canada, they, you know, we got it set up with a really nice board. It's their Royal Red Tournament board. And that one, it's like, again, there's like real life tournaments for this stuff. So if you go on YouTube, like I totally got obsessed watching the Crokinole Championships. And the board that we have meets like tournament quality standards, like the, like the size and like the wood. Like, I don't know if exactly what the specifications are, but so good um book of nerds says what kind of chair are you using uh, this is a, a gaming chair just some standard gaming chair that we picked up at uh, office depot um yeah before the pandemic actually and uh yeah that's um that's the new chair um was it before but yeah no it might have been post pandemic what i think you know but yeah it, it's cool it's comfortable i it's not like the the highest uh, high-end like super fancy gaming chair, but it, it does the job. It, it's super comfortable much better than the other one I had in uh, the room earlier when we started first streaming What are y'all up to anyone playing games or anything? Well, what's going on? Um, we we did do it is spiel weekend So normally everyone in the world would be going to Germany s in Germany to do spiel uh, Michelle and I have never been I've always wanted to go to spiel, but um, you know, it's it's not cheap getting out there, and then of course now with travel restrictions and everything, yeah, gonna gonna be tough, folks. Uh, let me open this up here. I'm going to actually go here. Can I find out? Yeah, th this is funny. This is so I'm used to Streamyard. Streamyard makes things super easy, and OBS isn't that hard. It's just it's I'm not used to this layout and stuff. Uh, Andrew says I keep buying games, but I haven't had time slash anyone to play with. Playing lots of Star Wars Squadrons, a video game. Yeah, I mean, video games. That's what a lot of a lot of us are doing. I'm I'm playing board game invitations on like um, Steam and Board Game Arena stuff like that. Oh, speaking of board game, I mean Steam. Um, did y'all see? There's a big sale going on right now on Steam. I just picked up what was it? Um, Isle of Sky. It was like a dollar thirty, dollar thirty nine, or something. Some outrageous price like that. So they have. It's Steam is doing their tabletop weekend, and I saw Suzanne and Mandy on there. Um, they they were involved with it somehow, but you know, in, included in the whole Steam, you know, they had like you know demos and playthroughs and live stuff going on. They also have a bunch of the games on sale. Um, I have a few of them. I bought that humble bundle um, a few months back, so I still have some of those games. But then there was like Isle of Sky I picked up. Was there another one? Was it Splendor? Maybe no. I had Splendor. Um, anyways. They have like Mysterium on sale and uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, which I haven't played yet, um, but I hear that's a really good one. Hi, Amanda. Amanda, you're off the clock. This is, uh, you don't have to be a chat moderator. Uh, <laughs> this is a, just, um, I'm streaming through OBS. I decided since the um, the Wardlings thing got canceled, I said, what the heck, I'll just hang out for an hour and uh, chit chat with y'all and maybe play a game. And collect the camels in the house. Hello, collect the camel. See, that's the thing about Streamyard. I don't have the, like the fancy little doodads and stuff that I can like highlight your comments with. So hopefully, I can figure that out. Um, uh, let's see, Andrew says. Oh, okay, I just read that one. So, anyways, yeah, just hanging out, chilling. Hopefully, uh, everything's going well. I do want to wish my castmate on um, Wardlings. Um, I hope they feel better. Uh, one of the castmates was. Uh, got six at the last minute so i ho I'll hope they're recovering um uh, quickly and we're gonna have a, one or two more episodes i don't know if we're gonna have both of them or one but it's gonna wrap up our little uh, campaign on wardlings which which is i uh, hopefully you've been able to watch some of it i i've i've really enjoyed it and i've said this before one of the bright spots of 2020 right there haven't been too many but one of the bright spots for me is rediscovering um role-playing games I haven't played a role-playing games in years, moons, right? Many moons ago I played one, but um, with this year I got to play a one-shot of Fiasco, and then I played some 5e with my buddy Oscar. He was the DM, and a couple of our local gaming buddies, or actually one mutual friend and then one of his uh, friends from out of town. And then from there, Wardling started, and it's just been oh, such a great experience. Uh, Andrew says, what are the last three games you've backed, games you're looking forward to backing? 
excuse me. Oh, that's a great question. What is the last game I backed? The last game I backed, I think I received it. Let's see. Um, wow. I would have to look. Um, I, I don't know what the last game I backed. The one I'm looking forward to is Veiled Fate, actually. The one I just played on um, uh, their their launch day. That, that game, for... Again, I'm not a social deduction fan, but that game, I don't know. It was maybe, I think it was because more, it was more like a board game than anything. It was like a board game with a social element, a deduction element to it, rather than just a pure social deduction game. That's why I liked it. And that's the second social de deduction game I've liked this year. Like, actually not like, I've really enjoyed this one, um, Failed Fate and The Search for Planet X. Those two completely surprised me. Um, again, I'm not a pure social deduction fan, but I, I think I'm... I may be slightly changing my mind on those. Uh, Cartographers, yes. Uh, our expansion was Autobac, yeah. Uh, Eclectic Camel, true, true. Um, and, oh, other games I'm looking forward to backing. Oh, man. Andrew, what, what are the ones? Uh, uh, tell me in the comments if you've got anything I should be looking at. Because I haven't backed a game. I think I've gotten all my Kickstarter stuff in. I did, okay, I know. The last one I backed was this really small... Um, not small, but um, a small print run for a game called. Oh my gosh, I don't. I don't remember the name of the game, but it was by Travis Hill. It was a one-player uh, RPG, and it was really interesting. It's a, a role-playing game, but it's it was basically done in a zine form, so it was like ten bucks or something like that. But it was a nice, nicely printed zine, and in it, it it's like a journaling RPG. So there's like I think four different adventures. And it's like one was like, uh, I think it might have been like um, your first contact with an alien. And the, the second one was like your, I think it just asked you to like observe people and then sort of make up stories. So the whole thing was really fascinating, fascinating to me um, because it was an RPG, you're role playing, but it's only a single player, right? A solo game. Like I was like, I was like, how does this work? And so I had to back it. And basically it gives you a couple of things. You may roll a die or you may, you know, do pick a scenario or whatever. And you just journal about it. It was really, it's really cool. Um, I haven't finished all of them. I think I've done w the first one, but there's three more or something like that. And I found it fascinating. I, I would highly recommend it. Um, they just did another Kickstarter and I missed it. It was for another thing, but it was like more of like a, it was another one shot or one player RPG where you journal, but it was more like the horror genre. And I was like, eh, I'm not really that much of a horror guy anymore. So I was like, well, I got this one. I haven't even finished the first one. So I was like, I'm not going to back the other one, even though it was only like another 10 bucks or so. Yes. Thank you. Uh, De um, is it Dino? Uh, Dead Last Again. Oh, thank you. Dead Last Again. Yes. Our Innermost Thoughts. Very good. Um, I was, yeah, I don't, did you back that as well, uh, Dead Last Game? I, I think it was such a great idea. I, I I love the fact that you can do an RPG by yourself, right? I mean, it's journaling, but the whole, the whole thing is, oh, it's just such a cool concept. Oh, I haven't played it yet. Cool. Yeah, so, friends, yeah, welcome. If you're just tuning in, this is just a hangout here. Um, I'm just hanging out with with y'all today. I hope you're going to have a hope you're having a good day, good night wherever you are. Um I'll probably play a game here. I think I'm going to fire up Steam, you know, we'll we'll just I can chat while playing games. I feel sort of funny just looking at the camera here. <laughs> uh I'm Orange Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Orange Creamsicle. I know who you are. Thank you for joining us, my friend. I don't know if I'm supposed to like say real names, but I, I know who you are. Thanks, man. Um yeah, so, I don't know, y'all want to ask me anything about these games uh, behind me, or... Oh, actually, why don't I show off some stuff that I've gotten recently, so... Yeah, so we played this one the other day, Cartographer's Heroes, um, that one there, that's that's the new one. We played that the other day with Suzanne, um, Jonathan Liu, uh, Nicole Hoy, and um, uh, Calvin Wong. It was so much fun, I hope you are all able to check it out. If not, look on Twitch or uh, my YouTube channel, we have the... Uh, on-demand replays there, but Heroes, I, I really, I mean, I love Cartographers. Like, Heroes is, is outstanding. Um, Eclectic Camel says, luckily for me, Eclectic Camel is my real name. Yes. Uh, good to see you, Eclectic Camel. Um, oh, I know. This one. I played this for Renegade uh, recently um, on, their, on their Twitch channel. 
and I loved it. It's a solo game. It's part of their solo hero series, Warp's Edge. This one is from Scott Alm Alms. Alms or Alms? Uh, and he does, does all the tiny epic games, and I like his solo games. They're it's easy to implement. They're they're not hard to like. It's not like a lot of fiddly bits or anything. But this one, oh, it was so good. It is again super easy to implement, but it was tough. It's a bag builder. I've gotten crushed twice, and it was like, oh man, I, I was like, the time we, I played on uh, Renegade, I was sort of embarrassed. I thought I was going to beat it because I, I was crushed the first time, and I thought I knew what I was going to be doing the second time, but no, I, I got beat. Um, I got closer, but uh, this one, this time, I'm going to give it another shot and hopefully beat it. I was thinking of live streaming it this weekend, but that's not going to happen, but maybe next weekend. Uh, what I want to do, too, is there's a story booklet that's part of it that Banana Chan wrote. So it's like a choose your own adventure, and as you read the adventure, make choices, you're gonna um, like uh, customize your ship. So hopefully, we'll get that um, played soon. Andrew Seeley says, Hot take FFG recently discontinued the FFG sleeve line. Oh, for the new Game Genic line, but not a super fan of Game Genic stuff. Yeah, well, that's a reasonably priced durable clear. I'd go full Dragon Shield, but not. I'm not made out of money. Yeah. And then Eclectic Camel says Ultra Pro Mac Clear Saves. Oh. Yeah, see, I didn't know they discontinued the, the FFG sleeves. I am... Okay, here's my hot take. I have gotten out of sleeving my games. I used to be pretty pretty good about it. And I actually just bought the like the cheaper, like the, the Ultra Pro ones. They're a, little, they're a lot more affordable than you know the top of the line ones. But honestly, I got to the point where... Oh, now this is different for everyone because if you're playing a lot of like you know uh, like magic or other card games, I can totally see the sleeving thing. But for the games that I have here, I started looking at it like you know I have a lot of games like a lot of you do too. Am I really playing the games enough to warrant the extra expense? You know, and I, I understand you you know you invest money in the game and you want to protect it and give it a long life. But I looked at it like like something like like Scythe. Uh, I'll just say Scythe, right? I love that game. And I've sleeved it. But then I've played it, I think... This year, I've, I haven't played it once. Or no, man, I think i played it once this year. And as much as I'd like to play it, like, did I really need sleeves? Are they really handled that much in one two-hour game where it would justify the cost? I don't know. That That's just my take. That's my, my hot take. Like, I don't... I don't know. I just... I, I love the feeling of not having sleeved cards. I just like to, you know, pick up the cards and go... Um, Book of Nerds is yes, yeah, sleeveless. <laughs> Collect the Cavill didn't like didn't like FFG sleeves, and Book of Nerds says yeah, just watch your hands. Paladin sleeves, pay the neighbor. <laughs> Mrs. G says pay their neighbor kids to sleeve your cards. <laughs> uh, Marvel Champions, yeah, that was probably that's probably one of the games I would think that you would need sleeves for. Um, <laughs> Andrew says your hot take is I have too many games to play any of them too often. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> oh, that that's funny. That's yeah. Now that you th now you put it that way. Oh man. Now I got to rethink my hot take. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, protect your games, of course, right? I mean, it's it's your game. You've spent the money, so like, I'm not just gonna, you know, I I definitely don't like riffle shuffle. Like, I, I won't riffle. Sh like, I will, but like, I do it in like the the casino way where you just use your thumbs and like the corners of the cards. Like I won't like bridge it, you know, the like the full on riffle and bridge. Yeah, that's just, I, I won't do that because that, that's, that'll definitely decrease the life of your cards. Uh, Book of Nursing, <laughs> Mrs. Cam talking about the neighborhood kids cleaning um, the uh, <laughs> cards there. Oh gosh. So what else is going on, friends? What else you got? What, what else is happening? Um, for those of you that were in chat earlier, top three at three, thank you for joining uh, me and Pat Marino. Um, I saw so many comments, and again, it was just flying across. I, I couldn't really highlight anything, but there was a lot of games there talking about um, that were within the topic of top three games that you would never get rid of. And John, I saw your comment, man. That made me laugh. And I, I couldn't find it. I was going to post it there, but uh, he had said that I will never get rid of Ruel's copy of Twilight Imperium. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, man. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I did sit on gold. Yeah, it was comedy gold, man. I miss it. Um, Collective Cowboys, glad to see Chaos on top of your list. Yeah, I love that game. 
That one, see, now, okay, so I just talked about sleeving games. I have that sleeved, right, because it is out of print, and it will never come back in a print unless, you know, maybe, I don't know, 50 years from now, the whole licensing issues go away. But I, I don't see that game going back in a print. I really wish that, you know, they would, like, just come out with a new version, retheme it or something, but I don't know. It's, you know, we should, like, we should, like, Talk, tweet at Eric Lang and say, Eric, you know, what, what's up? What, can we do this? You know, can you do this? Redo uh, Chaos in the Old World. Uh, Andrew's talking about the uh, Game Genic that doesn't use the same manufacturer. Huh. Yeah, I don't, um, again, I don't, I'm not an expert at sleeves, so y'all, yeah, continue that conversation there. I'm, I didn't know that they were um, having all, I didn't even know about the FFG thing. Interesting. Surprised they didn't do a ton version since they have the, oh, I didn't know that. Collector Camel. Yeah, I just... I don't know, like, does uh, FFG still have that license? Or... Like, I thought they gave up everything. Okay. Um, I don't know. What should we do? Should we play a game? Should I play a game? Um, yeah, you know, let, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna switch screens. Let, let's see if I can do this in OBS. Okay, so audio, I'm going to go back. Okay, check. One, two. Any audio now? Let me know if you can hear me. Yay, thank you. See, John, anytime I stream, just uh, hang out and chat. Make sure I'm doing things right, please. <laughs> but anyways, hey, I have Splendor on. Um, thank you, Dead Last Again, for um, confirming. I have a Splendor on screen here. This is on, I think, I don't know if this is the ones on sale, um, but there are a bunch on, on Steam. Go check that out. And um, I'm going to play a game of Splendor while we can chat, right? Yeah, have you all played Splendor before? This is a family favorite. Um, I will play, I'll just play a solo game against, uh, uh, do I want to resume the last game? No. So here's me. Here's one thing I don't like about this game. You can't change the faces. I mean, you can change the face, but it's... Sort of whack. Um, oh, that's my name. Yeah, anyways, you, you, there's the setup screen. They're all like, you know, they pretty much look like these characters or they're female, like whatever. Uh, then you can change, you can play against different I AIs. So you get balanced, specialized, opportunistic. I'll just pick a random behavior. And then it's a two player game. So we're playing f with three nobles, five gold tokens, four tokens of each color, and then we're playing to 15. Now here's my best score. I don't really know how the scoring system works in this. Um, so, we'll, we'll see. Andrew says, I think Splendor's okay. Ever since I found Century Spice Road, that scratches the, scratches the Splendor itch so much more for me. Um, Book of Nerds, that's the Book of Nerds uh, AI. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, Andrew, you know what? I, I like... <clears throat> I remember when Century first came out, and I really liked that one. And I thought it was going to be a Splendor killer. Honestly, I keep coming back to Splendor. Um, I don't know if it's just... Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, with a physical version, I just, I like the feeling of those, like, poker chips, I guess. And uh, Michelle and I, you know, we can knock out a game in, like, the real version in, like, 20 minutes. It's it's a super fast game. I love it at 2. Uh, 3 and 4, it, it can be a little, I don't know. It's, um, I don't know if it's as, I don't know. I just love the two-player version more. Um, I feel like it's just the perfect light engine building game. Um, Century Spice Row is good, too. I, I can't. I'm such a omni gamer, and what do you say, a Care Bear? Like I, I love it all. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> hate on either game. The games that I don't like, I don't talk about because it's a waste of my time, right? Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go into here. Let's see. Hey, is it? A, it's streaming. Hey, hey, I'm just happy this is working right now. So I'm not the first player in position two. If you've never played Splendor before, this is a light engine building game where you're trying to collect 15 prestige points. Here's the prestige points here. I don't know if you can, oh, you can see my cursor, yay. Um, so here's one for three, four, and you cannot, you, you're gonna buy these cards based on the gems that you have in your hand. Uh, so I'm gonna press, click on this, and this will show me what my opponent has. Um, Panda Angel, oh, you're not using StreamRide. You're, yeah, right now I'm using um, OBS. I wanna see if I can do it. So far, so good. I've had, had a couple of hiccups, but thankfully, Book of Nerds has um, 
made sure I'm, I'm doing things okay. He's holding my hand as usual when it comes to technology. Um, you'll notice here that the gems, they come in five different colors and a gold one or a yellow. The wild, that's for wild, a wild color, and I'll talk about that in a second. So on your turn, you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to collect gems into your hand or you're going to use those gems to buy cards, okay? And when you buy a card, it's going to, like if I bought this uh, white gem, it's going to come down to my um, hand here. It's going to count as a white gem from now on. So I'm going to be building an engine, right? So I'll have different gems in front of me, and those will eventually allow me to buy other gems uh, or other cards. Um, and in the two-player game, there are stacks of four for the five main colors. You can either take one of three different colors, or if the stack is full, and that's four, I may take two of one color, and that's it, okay? And then on my next turn, I can do the same thing. You can have a limit of 10 gems in your hand. And um, so we'll just alternate turns, and you can buy, when, when you're available, when you can, you just turn in the gems to buy the card, and that card will become a gem that you can use at a later point. You'll notice the nobles on the far right side of the board here. These are only purchased by the cards that you have in your hand, on your tableau. So if you have four white cards in your tableau and four blue ones, you will automatically get this noble that's worth three points. It's a race to 15 points, folks. So uh, it, it's slow going at first, but then it really ramps up once you got all those gems in your hand. So um, you'll know. Okay, here's one thing I really want to point out, and this is great. I love that Asmodee, or who I think it was Asmodee. I'm not sure what the. Does it have credits here? Let me see. Menu. Uh, no credits. Okay. Well, we can look at it later. Um, the company that did the digital implementation has included a an option where you can make it colorblind friendly. And if you notice here on the on the gems, like the actual tokens here, the blue, for example, for example, has horizontal stripes. The green has like these diagonal stripes. The red has a red circle here. Black is just a black circle. White is just a white circle. So black and whites are typically, I mean, they uh, they can be easily distinguished by those of us that have colorblind issues. I have big time issues with red and green. So the fact that this red and green have these lines helps tremendously. Also, in the real game, in the analog game, the gems are different shapes, right? So you have blues, this shape, like an opal, I guess. Red is some kind of ruby. Green is an emerald. And they're different shapes. So that's how I would determine which colors are out there. But the fact that they do this here helps tremendously. Because if they didn't have... They do have the, the normal version. They don't have these lines. But if you click colorblind, they give you these uh, extra lines and stuff. So it makes it so much easier to play. So, yeah, so this is Splendor. Thanks again for joining us, folks. Uh, my name is Ruel Gaviola. If you're the first time here, thank you for joining me. I am, we're rolling with Ruel. So feel free, let's just chat and chat while I play Splendor. If you got questions, let me know. And yeah, just let's hang out. So my opponent's gotten those. Uh, I'm going to take a white. Actually, no. I'm going to go, let's see. Let's try to get this white one here. Uh, go, hmm red green and blue do, 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 do. and then end turn and it's my opponent's turn so there's like uh music and sound effects for this but i haven't figured how to figured out how to stream that into obs so i will be talking to book of nerds real soon to help me out with that I actually have the sound off. Uh, the music gets a little annoying to me after all. It's got like it's that standard like Renaissance Middle Age, you know, with lutes and stuff. It's okay, I guess. Very thematic, but it's not really my jam. Um, Dead Last Against asks, not sure if you've already addressed this, but any Essen releases that interest you? Okay, confession time, folks. Can I go to this screen? Let me see if I can do this real quick. Hi, confession time. I don't. When it comes to like Essen and like all the big conventions. I don't know why I, I just I never like I never know what's coming out I, I don't know if I just miss stuff or I, I don't pay attention well enough but yeah what what's what's coming out do you know uh, can you let me know what's happening and I'll let you know if I've heard of it because I mean again there's so many games that come out at all these conventions like they just psh, I mean I've got enough in my in my head already it's tough to keep track of all that but yeah uh, dead last game what are you 
um, looking forward to. And anyone else in, in chat, let me know what's happening. What's what's the new hotness? I I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to talk about any games that I've heard of that you know that you know you're you're excited about. Um, okay, so let me so I can get this black one, and let's get another blue and. Uh, get another green. So you'll notice too, as you pick up these gems, um, again, digital implementations. That's what I love. They'll, you'll, they highlight the cards that you can buy on your next turn, right? So I have enough gems to get this one or this one. So I just end turn, and then my opponent will go. Oh yeah, Brian. Thank you. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to say your real name. Brian is a. Uh, um, I've met Brian a couple times at um, conventions. Super nice guy. Brian taught me the um expansion to targi which i love so thank you brian yeah kubitos is that how you say kubitos that one looks really cool and anything by john claire big fan of bonsonator's in the house hi bonsonator i'm using obs i'm so excited i don't know how to use it i'm just figuring out but i'm playing uh splendor right now thank you for joining us folks uh if you're not following bonsonator she's awesome please uh, please follow her she does uh, animal crossing video games um talks about board games so cool um, I, okay, it's my turn now. So do I buy this one or do I buy this one? I'm going to buy this one here. Okay. And since I bought the white card, you'll notice here I have one. So if a card, like for instance, this blue one, it needs one gem, I can use my card here. My card doesn't go away. Whereas if you notice here, the gems, as you pay the gems, they go back to the supply. But any cards you have, you have that. It's part of your engine that you're building to get other cards. It will never go away. Thanks, Bonsonair. Yeah, I, I love Splendor. This uh, Michelle and I always play this. Well, we don't always, but we, we're big fans of this game. Okay, so I've got this white card. I've got red, green. Okay, I can get another blue, another green. That would no wait. Oh, I need a black too. Then that would give me another white one. But let me cancel that out just by using the X. I want to get a blue one. I, I typically I like to have all the different colors on there um, in my tableau. Um, let's see. So if I got a red, huh? I'll tell. You, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that route. I'll get another white one. What the heck? Just because I can. There. Okay. Grizzly Diz, hello. Thanks for hanging out. Um, it's always annoyed me that the card decks don't fit in the slots since the game release. They clip over the edge. Of oh, really? I didn't know that. Uh, Dead Last uh, Brian's a sucker for rolling right, so the twa and... Oh, that's right. Wow, yeah. Super inter interested in those. Hey, did you get um, Roman Roll, Brian? That one I've heard is really good. I heard that one's like Euro game rolling right. Um, oh, it's my turn. So I can get this white one now. So you know what? That's what I'll do. I'll get another white one. So I've got two here. Ah, see, look at that. So I can use these two to get this red one. Unless this guy, or who what my opponent does. We'll see. So I am going to need a green and then two blacks. So green. Again, you can only take two off the top if it's a complete stack of four. And you can only do it for one color. So let's say I'll get a blue one too. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. I haven't heard a claim. That one I don't know. Oh, so I'm going to show you something, folks. So you can, at any time, uh, one of the other actions you can take is reserve a card. So if I did this, where I reserve this one, it goes in your reserve. You can have, I think, up to three, and then you get the gold coin. That's a wild. You can use that for any color, but I'm not going to do it now, but just to show you. I don't normally do that because I hate wasting turns, but if there's something I'm really gunning for, then I will. Uh, let's see. I've got a black one here, so that's gonna give me the red one next turn, and then um, so I get another red one here, and um, get another green. So that gives, this gives me two options next turn. I like doing that, having you know two options just in case your opponent buys something. Okay. So now I've got choices, red or blue. I, I don't know how y'all play. I, I like to try to get the um, nobles because I also look at like 
I look at those at like free points, you know, because as you're gathering these cards, the ones with points on them, if you collect the right amount on these cards, then they, you get those automatically. It's like a free bonus um, points. So I'm going to get a red one here. So I see reds on one, two of these cards, blues only one. So I'm going to get a red, turn those in. Again, the whites stay. I don't actually spend those. So, um... No, I'm just playing against the AI. I just set this up. Um, yeah, just a like a solo game, but against the Splendor AI. Uh, Grizzly Diz says, I've heard mixed things about Roman Roll. If you watch what Shut Up and Sit Down, I would say, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I've uh, I've heard two of my friends, local gaming buddies, they really liked it. So I, I pretty much in am in tune with uh, those guys. So I think it would probably be, probably be in my wheelhouse. Uh, Joey Bag of Donuts, hey, thanks for uh, joining us, my friend. Good to see you on here. Um, I am going to, okay, I want a blue one now. Well, do I get a black one? I would need, okay. So I can get that blue one with, I get, what do I need? Two red, one white. Okay, I need a black. That'll get me this blue one. Um, I can get two black, and then I have a choice of either blue. No, I don't have to do that, because my opponent doesn't have any black. I don't have to sweat them. So I'm going to get a black, a green... And um, I'll get another blue and see what that does. Okay, so there's my... Okay, they took a blue. So you can see the opponents up here. I don't know why... They, normally it, it's like this. You have to click on it to see um, their coins or their um, cards. Their cards and coins, I guess. But yeah, you, you can toggle that off if you want to look at your opponent's... Uh, sexy face or whatever <laughs> um let's see i want to try to get a black one into my hand so i'll do that and i can have a choice between black and blue uh, let's get this red one and i'm just like hate drafting at this point just want to hate draft against my opponent here uh I'll take another black one okay so i can get one of those four next turn oh john do you have it yeah let's play you want to play now man we, we could set up an online game. I mean, you wouldn't be on the stream, but you could, you know, we could just play here. Excuse me. Ooh, there's a green one. I think I should get a green one. Because it's only cost me one of each of those. Yeah, I'm getting a green. Boom. And I can still get that um, black one next turn. Oh, you're making dinner? Okay, no worries, man. What's for dinner? Okay, I'm going to get the black because I have enough of these here. So again, slowly but surely filling out my um, bottom row here on my tableau. Grizzly Diz, no, you are cool enough. You want to play? Um, I don't know what my Steam friend code is thing is. But yeah, I'm, I'm down. Let's see, red. I want this blue one. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, okay. Frozen Chinese fruit from TJ's and cauliflower, cauliflower rice. Nice. Oh, okay, no worries. Poking fun. Y'all are poking fun at each other. Nothing but the friendliest chat on, on earth, folks. Okay, so now I've got my engine built up a little bit here. This is cool. So I can get this red one for two whites, a blue, a green, and a black. You notice here I have a card and a coin of each one. You will always spend your cards first. Okay, so you I don't have to lose these coins. So I'm going to take this one. Yay, didn't have to spend a thing. What up? Oh, I didn't even notice my po opponent has three points so far. So they have. I wasn't paying attention. They have um, bought some cards that have points. So whoop-de-doo. Um, I can get this red one for free, basically. Do that. That allows me to buy a white one for two points next turn. And they just swiped it right on... Oh, darn you, computer opponent. I can get a green one for free. Okay. Uh, oh, I can get another blue one. or You know, I'll get the blue one for now. Let's get the blue. Ooh, green. I'll need another black one for that one. Uh, but I can get a white. Yeah, we'll go white. Because it's not going to cost me anything. Because I have all the necessary things here. Uh, Book of Nerves, make me a mod, Ruel. How do you do that? 
Ask Amanda. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do, can I do that here? Where am I at? Yeah. My uh, technological expertise or lack of it is showing right now. I don't know. Do you? Do I go into the Twitch and make? How do I make you a mod? Okay. I I honestly thought you were a mod already, um, Book of Nerds. So I will get on that, sir. Uh, let's go for black chip or a card. Okay. Ooh, I see a green. Let's get that green one. Um, yeah. Take this green one. And then we'll take the red one. Uh, which one? Let's spend this one here. Ooh, there's a black one. I need that black one. Oh, he took it. Or, or they took it. I don't know if it's a he, she, or whatever. But, ugh. Um, oh, the white one I can take. Oh, thank you, Bonsonator. Uh, Twitch moderation settings rolls. Okay. Settings. Rolls. Um. Andrew, I have not played Among Us um, yet. Kids playing. Hey, Allison. Thanks for joining me. Nice to see you. Folks, kids playing Allison, uh, her her kids are amazing. Peyton and Jared, I mean, they do freaking cool videos, like board game videos, and they had me on their podcast. I mean, they do a video podcast. I mean, they're like 8 and 10, I think. It's amazing. You check it out. I was so impressed by what they do. Um, <laughs> Panda says, Book of Nerds trying to take my job. Y'all fight it out. <laughs> Y'all fight. Uh, let's see. There's no black one here. I really need a black one so I can get this three-pointer. I also need some blues. I could get this blue next turn if I reserve. Or I can take a black. Um, a green. Is there anything for a white? No, how about a blue? Can they, can they get? No, they can't. Oh, they could. Ooh, darn. I don't like that. We'll see. Kestrel's in the house. Hey, Kestrel, thanks for hanging out. What's the battle on who wins that fight? <laughs> I give me the sub back up. Here we are. Oh, Joe, oh, hi. Uh, what game house pies did you try? We have yet to order. Ooh. Yes, so congrats again, um, uh, Geraldine and Mike. The pies that we've had, we've had the ginger, or the pear ginger, which was phenomenal. Like, I cannot rave enough about that pear ginger. We've also had, um, I mean, just back in the day, we had their apple pie, their famous apple pie, which I always loved. Gosh, what was the other one we had? Um, Amanda's been kind enough to pick up pies for us a couple of times. Um, you know, we, we just Venmo her and she, you know, delivers pie and we get to hang out, you know, socially distant, distant of course. But it's been very, very nice of Amanda to do that. Um, but yeah. The, I remember the pear ginger was the last one we had. There was another one. I forgot what it was. But yeah, please, please support them if you can. And yeah, order a pie. Pick it up on Saturday. Uh, the one they had this week looked really good. The sour apple. Or was it sour, sour cream apple pie? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kessel, don't take away from my Kessel. I'll just be five. <laughs> Panda is irreplaceable. That's correct. Thank you, kids explaining. <laughs> Predatory birds. Yeah. Yeah, Michelle, I don't know if Michelle's still in chat, but she would remember. We had ginger pear, or pear ginger and some other pie. Oh, it's my turn here. Did they take that blue? They took that blue. Darn it. Stupid computer. Okay, boo earns. So now I've got to go here. I'll get a black so that way I can get that green one. Get another white and get another green. I'll probably have to give up some coins here. Nope, I, I'm at my ten. Three, five, seven, I'm at nine. Okay, this opens it up. Now there's a black one. I can get that one. It's two points plus another three because I'm going to get that noble. So let's do that. Like, I'm seven points behind. It's time for me to catch up. <laughs> Joey, all this pie talk is making me hungry. Yeah, that, that's what we do here on the stream, folks. We talk food and we get hungry and play games. 
What do I need next? I need some blues. Okay, I can get up one blue. I also need a green. Let's get the green because that'll get me this one as well. So one point for the green, then three points for the noble. Up to... How many points do I have now? Did I catch up? I'm at, I am at nine now. I'm in the lead. Okay. Um, I can get that three-pointer. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to get the three-point green here. AJ Gamer, thanks for joining us. Um, I am playing Splendor on Steam. And just as a reminder... Oh, man, they took... Oh, darn it! Stupid computer took my uh, noble. Um, just as a reminder, Steam has a bunch of board game uh, board game apps on sale. I picked up Isle of Sky yesterday for $1.39 uh, US. Um, they got some other, like, 99 cent games. And a couple of ones are, like, super discounted. So check it out over there on Steam. Okay, well, they're at 11. I'm at 12. I am one green one away from this five-pointer, which will end the game. So I'm going to take a green here. What do I need? Green. Oh, I need two greens. And, okay, so let me X this out. So the stack here is four. It's a full stack, so I can take two of them. And that'll be the end of my turn. And you'll notice here, I'll be able to get this five-pointer to end the game. Grizzly Diz says, I look, I Sky is a banger. Cool. Oh, they have ended the game. Uh, so they reached 15 points. I get my final ups, basically. So they have 15. I'm going to take the five-pointer here. And that should be enough to win the game. Dun, 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 dun. Yay, victory. 93,000. Oh, okay. So here's the point breakdown. You do get a speed bonus, if you'll notice there. So you start with 150,000. Bonus from the points over 15. Bonus from the number of turns below 30. So I did 29 turns, so I got a small bonus. Speed bonus. So with me chatting, like, you know, you just lose a bunch of points for the slower you go. So final score, 93,000. I think that's a perfectly fine score for a live stream. Ooh, excuse me. Andrew H. says you could have done it on the previous turn. Oh, thank you. I totally missed that. Uh, AJ Gamer says I picked up side of the... Oh, cool. Yeah, Wingspan is fantastic. Oh, on Tabletop Simulator. Okay. I have played... Yeah, I have played on Tabletop Simulator. I have played Wingspan. Good good implementation. I love the um, digital one that Direwolf just put out. That was so good. Um, so anyways, here. So I lost a bunch of points because I was chit-chatting. But hey, I think I did all right. I beat the computer in 29 turns. And then you can press here to see the details of your prestige points. And so I got 17. Oh, okay, Andrew says I could have got 15 and he wouldn't have got another turn. Got it. Yeah, I got greedy with a five-pointer. I just, I, I like that, you know, wanted to go that extra, the extra mile for all of my friends in, in, in chat. Uh, Book of Nurse says, Among Us, let's do it sometime. Yeah, Andrew, you want to set that up? Um, or Andrew C. Lee, yeah, if you want to set that up, let's, let's do it. I have no idea what that, I know it's a, I know it's probably not going to be my type of game because it's a social deduction, but it does look fun, so. Um, so, yeah, that's... Splendor. Okay, so it's Space Cowboys. And I don't know. Is this credits page? Oh, so here's that change your avatar thing. Like, you know, it's super, like, plain. Like, ugh. I'm not really a fan of the art, folks. I picked this dude. He had, he had the nicest beard. Then you can pick your colors and your coat of arms. Maybe I'll pick a new coat of arms to play with. What do y'all think? <laughs> yeah, Andrew, right? A very very diverse bunch of nobles. Hashtag sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these are, I don't know. These are not my favorite. Like, what did I pick before? I'll go with, uh, we'll try something new. Yeah, yawn, right? We'll try that one. What the heck? Uh, oh, okay, cool. Five dollars on Steam. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Daniel loves Among Us. Let me know. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, maybe uh, Allison, Daniel. Yeah, we could get a bunch of us on here. It'd be fun. 
Uh, let's see. There are tasks to complete. If you're the imposter, then you get to kill people. Oh, okay. See, that, that sounds like fun. Uh, offline, fight in daytime. We can do it best with a Discord server, but easy enough. Okay, cool. Sounds fun. I don't know. Which I got. I've been on here for like an hour, folks. Maybe I don't know. Maybe another quick game. Um, I've got date night. Excited date night with Michelle. Uh, let's see. Let me close this out. Or maybe. Where is Steam? Anyways, thanks for hanging out, folks. Really appreciate it. Just chit chatting here, playing some games. Um, I'm gonna do patchwork. Let me think of that. Mongus is free on iOS, iOS if you want to try. Oh, okay, cool. Kestrel says fan. Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people. I mean, a, a lot of people uh, like. I mean, I've seen it a bunch on the different Twitch streams. Um, so I'm gonna play another game. I'm gonna play Splendor again. Let's try. So this is. You can try the different styles of opponent you know i'm gonna try okay so we'll try a balanced approach we'll try a specialized approach and we'll try an opportunistic approach okay uh yeah book of nerds no tabletop tonight michelle and i have date night tonight um plus uh that this so this is i, I had this like from four to six i had it booked off uh, marked off for the wardlings game that unfortunately got canceled at the last minute so i said hey you know instead of just like I was just going to like chill, but I was like, you know what, let me try this OBS thing, and thankfully it's still working. So, um, yeah, date night, yeah, so date night, yeah, there you go, Book of Nerds, date night. Um, let's, I'm going to play this. I won't chit-chat as much, probably, because I'm going to, I got four players, or three players to worry about instead of one. So, as you see here, you get more nobles when there's more players, okay? Uh, let me put all these... My opponent's things up there. Yeah, I love how fast this plays. Uh, oh, and there's also more tokens, so we're going to start with stacks of uh, seven, I believe. Oh, excuse me. Oh. So, do y'all play Splendor a lot? Like, do you have a favorite player count? I love it at two. Um, let's see. Black. Red. And let's do another green. Joey, thanks for stopping by. Have a great night. <laughs> Fucking hurts. I I'm going to chug uh, some of the LaCroix. Or LaCroix. Grizzly Diz never made in my collection. Bonds and Ayers only played it once at two players. I, I really I really enjoy this game. It's one of those that's, you know, really elegant and streamlined, right? It's just you do one thing on your turn, take chips or buy a card or reserve a card. And then I like that it's a you know, I like that feeling of building an engine. Okay, so I've got two whites. I'll take a blue, a green, and a black. Hopefully get that red. And that's the thing. With the four-player game, I mean, it's it's tougher to plan out for stuff because cards will be, you know, they, they move in and out of the tableaus a lot faster. Oh, kids playing. We were planning on playing Campaign Trail with the Charity Board Gamer. His power's out. Oh, no. So we're going to be doing on Property Date Night as well. Oh, that's a bummer about the power. But yeah, hooray for game nights, right? Or date nights. Uh, let's see, I got this one here. I'll get the red one. Spend those tokens. You know, I'm really craving pie. Now, now that um, Geraldine brought it up, now I really want pie. What am I going to do here? Let's do, we got a green, got the red, got a black, got a blue. I 
Okay. We got another white. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. time favorite pie in LA apple pans banana cream pie oh, I've heard of that pie I've heard it's legendary and oh that does sound good Andrew have you been to uh, pie and burger Pasadena we were just talking about it on John stream on a book of nerds um, Michelle and I love the uh, boysenberry pie over there let's see I can take um, hmm a green a blue and a red. Heavy arms says yes, yes. I'm seriously craving pie now. Maybe uh, Michelle and I might have to work that into date night. Yeah, Pineberg is a classic, right? Actually, you know, it's funny. The last time we had pie and burger, they had for a little while. I don't think they do it now anymore. But they had um, their their food truck, and they there was some a big event that Michelle and I went to, and they just happened to be there. And we're like, yeah, boysenberry pie, and they had it. We're so stoked. Uh, let me see. Really, that's all I can do? Do I have reserve now? I've got. I need two blue and two red. Man, all right, I'll reserve. Yeah, Book of Nerds, uh, like the Apple Pie at Game House, their pair is also good, yeah. I really hope that Game House is still around next year, folks. So if you can, support. Um, bought pies from them, or they also have shirts. Um, their shirts are dirt cheap, well, not dirt cheap, but they're f only 15 bucks. Like, I, I just assumed they'd be like 20 but that was $15. Got my Game House shirt, I'll have to wear it um, next week on the stream. Okay, so I, I took the one that I had in reserve and purchased it, just using using the ones that I had and the gold coin for the wild. Okay, so I got two greens, so I can get oh, I got a black, a blue, and a red. Yeah, that's just more like hate drafting. Keep it away from the other players. Yeah, agreed, Andrew. I hope all game play spaces around next year. Agreed. Ooh, people are getting points. What's going on here? I don't have any points yet. I need to build up here. All right, let's get a... Oops, I don't want to take two blues. I'll take one blue. And then... Maybe I should take two blues. That'll set now. Black. A white. Okay. <clears throat> Miss Gav, yeah. Uh, the apple donuts from Donut Man are just like little apple pies. That's right. Same with their uh, peach and their um, famous strawberry. Okay, uh, let's go with black. Ooh, I want that blue one. I don't know if it's going to last, though. Andrew, yes. Pl folks, support your local game store. We don't have a game store in my area, but we do have a comic book store. They sell some games, but they were our go-to place to play op um, play games on open game night. Um, so we try to support them as much as possible. Okay, so now I have one of each color. Hopefully this will start Let me... Uh, build up here and get stuff and I just realized I haven't played this game four players in, in a while it totally plays differently than two players very tactical right okay blue black no there's no greens I'll take a red Bonzinate, are you streaming tonight?
Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, folks, pause in there after, after I'm done here. Um, hopefully we can raid. Uh, they're going to be on in 20 minutes. Okay, so I've got a red one here. Oh, cool. Brian, thank you for hanging out and have a great date night with the wife, my friend. And Brian, are you on Board Game Arena or Steam? Uh, hit, find me on there. We should play games, man. Okay, so I can get this blue one now. Sweet. That sets me up for the big one pointer. Man, someone's already got six. What? Okay, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting crushed, folks. What's going on? Oh, I can get one point. Yay, I'm on the board. Oh, okay, dead last again. Cool. Yeah, this player right here is just cr killing it. I feel like my strategy of getting a bunch of things here is not working out. Like, I'm going to be too late. Because I, I, I like to focus on these, but that's better for a two-player game, I think. Wow. Wow. That one went... Okay, so there are no more cards in this row. So once you take those, they're gone. Long gone. So I'll take the green. So there will be no more refilling here because the cards are out. So, friends, uh, tomorrow <clears throat> I'll be on at 1 o'clock um, with another top 3 at 3. So top 3 at 3, normally at 3 p.m. Pacific, but for Essen Spiel, for BGG Con... I bumped it up to 1 p.m., so technically it's like 3 p.m. Central. So it's still top three at three. But tomorrow I'm going to be hanging out with the guys from uh, Board Game Barrage. We're going to do our top three values in board games. So please join us for that. Uh, let me do this real quick. I've got one point. This is ridiculous. Desperate times, folks. What do I need to do here? One, two, three, four. No. Four point, just so it's not as, not getting beaten as badly. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah, I totally planned that, folks. Look, I got a noble. <laughs> wow. Look at nerds. Have a great night. Thank you for the uh, help, John. Much appreciated. <coughs> Have a good dinner. Hmm. Anything with green? No. I can load up on these reds. Oh man, I don't know if I. Yeah, the timing in this is way different than a two-player game. Yeah, the game over. They, oh my gosh, they killed it. Killed it. I don't think I can get any points. Yeah. Oh, I can get one point. Yay. Will that give me a noble? It will give me a noble. Yay. So at least I didn't get beaten as badly. Is that enough for second place? I'll take second place at this point. 
defeat. 27. Okay, yeah, so 27 turns, 15 to 12. Oh, we actually tied uh, for second, or I, they probably beat me on the tiebreaker, and then 7. So you can look at the details of your prestige points. I had three cards and two nobles. But hey, that's it. Thank you, Bonzanator. Uh, friends, that's that's the game. That's Splendor. Let me see if I can do this correctly again. Yay! Uh, I want to thank you for hanging out. This was a totally impromptu, just last second, hey, my other stream got canceled, so why don't we just hang out here and play a game and chat. So, really appreciate it, friends. Um, I'm going to log off now, but, you know, go check out Bonzanator. She's going to uh, be live in a few minutes here, 15, 20 minutes, and... You know, thank you. Oh, Slackfish, thanks for joining us. Hey, Slackfish, I'm using uh, OBS. Yay. Um, but uh, anyways, have a great night, friends. I will see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, hopefully, here um, with Board Game Garage. We're going to be talking our top three values in board games. So until then, have a great night. Have a great day, and stay safe, everyone. Bye now.